how to build a process server website. Hi, my name is Lance Casey and I'm a process server in California. And I get all of my clients online from searches in search engines like Google. Someone will type in city name or neighborhood and process server and lo and behold, one of my or multiple of my websites show up. So they'll either fill out the contact form on the website or call the phone number. So we're building a SEO process server website for the St. Louis, Missouri area. And so what we're going to do is to show you how to build the website. And here's the domain name of the website, St. Louis, Missouri process server dot com. And the domain names are very important. I mean, you might want to have your business name as the domain name, but I don't recommend that unless you build that as one website and build another website with the local term with the word process server. And I, I also made another video on how to choose the correct process server domain names. And for my websites, I each one gets a phone number and then the local process server will get all the leads Coming from that phone number, we direct it to the process server in St. Louis. So before we begin building a website, I do some, some things so I can have everything set up. I get some process server images. And when I create the images, their size is about 1250 by 725, because that's easily accepted by YouTube and Facebook and your website. You know, when it resizes the images, they're not too large. And I save the file name as the keywords I'm trying to rank for with the website. So this is for a St. Louis area process server. So the file names of all my images will be something similar to this, but it'll all contain process server and the city name. So as you can see here, these are the photos that I created, nothing fancy, but those are the ones for the St. Louis area process server. We're going to go through permalinks as well on the on the website. We're going to go through plugins, the plugins that I use when I'm building a, a website. We're going to go over what a website theme is and the articles that go on a website and the pages of the website. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the WordPress website dashboard. This is what the dashboard looks like. You have to figure out how to get here. But once you get to this point, you follow the instructions and you'll be able to create your WordPress website for your process server business. So we need to add the photos. Media is photos. So we go to add media here. Click add new, select the files. You know what? No, we're just going to drag and drop. That's what we're going to do. Because it's already open. So we're just going to. See if I can drag all those. Did it work? Yep. Let's just look. See, there's one of the pictures here. Another one of the images. Another one of the images. So the images have been loaded. So we've uploaded the images. So now we want to go to permalinks. So we're going to go back to the dashboard area and we're looking for settings, permalinks. And basically, the permalink is this thing here on our website. I like mine to be simple, but if you don't, it's gonna show up with something like this in the website. I don't want that. I, I just click post name, keep it simple. So it'll be the website domain name plus whatever the page name is. Save it. Okay, process server plugins. So plugin is basically like an app like 
on your phone. You can, you know, you can put apps on your phone and you're able to do things with those apps. So a plugin, you just find the type of plugin to do what you want on your website. And then it functions to make your website function better. So let's see what the website looks like right now. This is what it looks like right now. No content. Hello world, because they create a dummy article. So hello world. This is the theme of this website, the way the theme looks. So we're going to go to add new plugins. And we're just going to go through this list and find find these different items. So we need a classic editor. Oh, there it is. Install now. Okay. I don't activate them right, right then. I just get them all on here and then I'll activate them all together. So what's the next one? Insert headers and footers. Let's just copy that. There it is. Install now. What's the next one? Yoast SEO. Copy. Add a plugin. We'll discuss what that does when we get to that point on the website. Install now. What's the next one? Contact form seven. Copy. Install now. WordPress secure Word fence security. Now these are just the ones I use. You can probably find some other plugins to do the similar thing, but I just keep it simple. I've used it before. I know how it works. Okay, so we've got plugins, website themes. Let's look at the themes. Even though we're not going to change it, we're just going to look to see what they, you know, what they could look like. Okay, so let's let's just get a live preview of what this theme would look like here. Okay, just a different layout. Just a different layout. I'm gonna stick with what I got, but that just gives you an idea of the what the theme is. And then the articles. When you build your website, you need to have content on the article on the page. So I have people write articles for me. I just hire people online to write three to five hundred word articles around the topics of the keywords. So this topic is St. Louis, Missouri process server. So I've got a couple articles already written here that we're just going to copy and paste onto the website once we're done. Okay. So the website pages that we need, just four of them, home services, contact, and blog. Now, you've probably seen a bunch of one page process server websites that some of these companies will sell you. That's OK, but. Do they really rank in Google? When you do a Google search for a process server in a city, let's try to do a Google search and see what comes up. We're going to go to incognito. So let's just say process or St. Louis, Missouri process server. Okay, so we have an ad. That's ABC Legal, they're a big firm. And then we've got another ad here and another ad. And then you've got the 
three top websites in the Google Maps. So this is where you want to get your business listed. So that's that's the goal is to get listed in this Google Maps listing. And so let's just click on one of their websites to see how many pages it is. If it's a one pager. Okay, so this one's not secure. Okay, so that's not a good thing, but then they've got products and services, testimonial, contact and about us. So they've got 1 2 3 four pages. Okay, let's do the next one. Let's check out their website. Not secure. Process server St. Louis. They've got one, two, three, four, five, six pages. Six page website. Let's go to ProServe. Let's check out their website. Okay, they've got a home about two, three, four, five. They got six page website. So what that tells me is you need multiple pages on your website because you want to do exactly what they're doing. And if you want to have your website show up to what they're doing. So we're going to create these pages real fast. So hold on, just bear with us. You got to go to pages, there's pages here. Add new. Okay, so I've got to activate the plugin. So let's go back and activate our plugins. Because I don't like the I don't like the way it works that way. So I'm gonna go back and activate the plugins. I forgot to do that. So you just put a check in the box for the plugins that we installed. You could go through and click activate for each one, but this is like a bolt action and it just will all be activated at the same time. Now we'll go to pages. Add new. Okay, so we're going to add our home page. Move this out the way a little bit. Hit publish. Click add new page. Next page is services. It's going to be services. Click publish. Add new page. This one is the contact. Click publish. And the last one is the blog. Add another page.
and publish. Now we're going to go back to appearance. Click menus. If you get this information here, just open it up and delete it or remove it. Sometimes it might have had something already in the menu. But we're just going to remove it. We're going to remove all of them. Okay, and we're going to just add them all. Click them over here. And that adds them to the menu. And I rearrange them. You can slot, you know, which ones you want to be first, second, third. Save the menu. This is how it looks right now. With this up here. And we're going to refresh it to see how it how it changes. And you've got two menus, so we have to figure out what we did on there to see why did it come out with two menus. Desktop horizontal menu menu. Let's just see what happens when we refresh it. Maybe it changed it. Nope, still there. So we're going to take and unclick that. And then here's the save button. There it is. Save menu. Refresh it. Okay, it got rid of one and left the other. So let's go back again. And see how we're going to select it means to edit the primary. Try that. See if that makes a difference. But it's just trial and error until you get it to look the way you want it. You can keep it this way, but I like to list all the pages up there. But this is the last try. We're going to leave this alone because it's not that important because I just want to get all these pages built as quick as possible. So let's see if that made a difference. Nope. Okay, so We've got our pages built. We've got our menu set up. Now we need to assign the website so it knows which page is the home page. So we go back to customize. We go to home page settings and you want to set it to a static page and then look for home. And then you want to choose your blog page for your blog page and then publish it. Now your home page is shouldn't be this post. It should be the home page. Okay, so still has no content, but that's your home page now. Now let's go back a, a step. Site identity. We want to put a site title and a site tagline. So let's go back to the words we're trying to rank for. So it's St. Louis, Missouri process server. Copy. And there was something in there about higher processor, higher pro. Here we go. We'll put copy this. That's one of those keywords. I did some keyword research to come up with that. And it's an actual term that people type into Google. Uh, 
publish it. And let's see if this changes the screen at all. Okay, so it's got those terms, those keyword terms at the top. Perfect. Now let's go to pages. We're going to add some content. Let's go to the home page. You go to your pages and you click edit. And it'll bring up the page. Where you're able to add content and photographs. So first thing I add is a featured image. With this here. And find something to be the featured image of the page. So I've got to just choose that one there. And I always put something in an alt text. I copy what the file name is because all the file names are the keywords. And then you got to move my head out the way. And you set the featured image. Okay. Now remember that Yoast, S, that plugin that allows you to determine what shows up when you do a search into the results. So if we go back to um, the Google search, the, what we're gonna about to enter would show up like this. So basically process server St. Louis, that's what would show up in the search. But you can choose this by what you enter here. So let's just update. I like to update it as I go along because I didn't do it before several times and uploaded everything. And then when you try to save it, that's when the website wants to freeze and everything you've done just disappears. So I like to upload and save stuff as I'm going. OK, so next thing is you want to add some content. So we're going to go back to those articles I had written and we're just going to copy it. And then go back to edit the page, place our cursor there, and paste it. Okay. So you can change the font size if you want. Um, you know, so if we wanted this to be a different font size, we could change the size of it, and it would change it. But we're just going to leave. We're just leaving everything alone because this is just to build the website real quick. Okay. So that's the home page. It has our description and everything. So if we click update, and this is what it looked before we added the content to the page. It's taking a long time. There we go. All right, so we refresh it. There. That's the web page. Simple. Now you'll go through and update these items here. These are, um, what are those called? widgets so like you'll go you click on the widget button 
And then you just find where that text was and you can just update it how you want it. Like this one had the find us. So you put your address in here, your phone number in there, and you click done when it's done. I think it auto saves it for you when you do it that way. And then you're going to need to create a contact form. So you click uh, add new. And there it is. So we're just going to put the process, process server order form. But don't forget that keyword in there somewhere. There. So process server St. Louis, Missouri order form. Save it. Okay, is the code for it anywhere? So you see this code right here? Just copy that. Because you're going to paste that on your page to get a uh, contact form. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to your contact page. Click edit. And you just paste that code onto the form and you click update. We're going to click the permalink to see what it looks like. And there's that contact form right there. So a client would fill this out, hit submit, and then this, this information would then go to the local process server in St. Louis, Missouri, who has signed up to get these leads. And you can see you've got your social media buttons here as well. Those are those widgets. That you will just adjust, you will paste in your URL for your um, your different social media accounts. And you have to have the social media accounts. That's a Yelp, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and an email. Because you need to have your social media stuff. So literally, that's how you can build a, a website for your process server business. But that's not enough. If you want your website to show up like this in this map, you need to do a whole bunch more things. You need to have directory listings. You need to have other websites pointing links to your website. You need to have social media interaction on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Um, and you need to do that all pointing to that one website. So I figured out how to do it because when you search a local term in my neighborhood, my websites show up. Let's just see what happens if we do a search in my neighborhood to see if any of my websites show up. There's an ad. Look, here's a, here's a, a Google Maps listing right here on the side. That's my website. So that's pops up number one on Google. You click that and you go to my website. This is one of my websites right here. Process server, Sacramento County. So you want to get your website to show up like that? You need to do a whole bunch to it. And I wrote an ebook and I sell it on Amazon. And it's under $10 and it shows you step by step what you have to do in order to market your process server business online. So somewhere 
in the text below this video, there'll be some type of link that you can click through to go to Amazon to buy this book. But this is what you got to do if you want to make good money without having to cold call, without having to do marketing letters. You get people from out of town and out of state searching for a process server in your local area. And then your website, which shows up number one or number two in that Google three pack, buy this book and learn how to do that.